Hello and welcome to Frank's School, uh, 102nd day of the third year. Now, I'm skip going every other day, class vocabulary and then guided viewing of James Burke's uh, The Day the Universe Changed, then uh, class vocabulary again. For a while I'm going to do that. Uh, and I want to go back and correct something. Aller Anfang ist schwer. I had that wrong. I get, I get mixed up. All, every beginning is hard. But I've begun, so I think maybe uh, the uh, James Burke part won't, won't be so hard, I hope. Well, uh, what I'd like you to watch today is only about eight minutes of it. Uh, and in it, uh, James Burke will uh, turn to Greece on that map. Uh, his transitions, later on I'll point them out again. One of the things about his production, his writing, he wrote this series, uh, is uh, he's, he uses such clever transitions all the time. You know, he's in the bottom of Cheyenne Mountain, and he points to a map, Greece, and then there we are in Greece, modern-day Greece. And he's going to talk about the Greeks. Um, and he gives you a view of modern-day Greece to some extent. And his subject is eventually, more so than today, going to be about law and order, how we keep, uh, for things to work like they work, we have to have law and order. Well, he jumps back to the Ionians. Uh, you, with his British accent, that's lovely for people from uh, uh, other parts of the world, I suppose. But for Americans, his British accent is a little tricky. Uh, his Ionians are those ancient Greeks that arrived there, uh, and he'll, he'll, in t to some extent, you could say that Burke goes chronologically, but he jumps around so much. But this is the very beginning of uh, science and Western thinking. Uh, a guy named Thales. Uh, well, uh, at one point he says, it's all Greek to me. Well, that's a quote that comes from Shakespeare. And of course it's a pun. He's doing this kind of thing all the time. And later on uh, you'll hear him say that these shores that the Ionians came to were good for, I don't know if he says three things, but good for olives, wine, and getting out of. Well, that also is his very clever writing. Here's a noun. Here's a noun. This is not parallel. This is a gerund, uh, but it's purposely not parallel because he says you expect another noun is going to come. And he is so clever with his writing that way. Um, all right. Uh, now, at a certain point in my school, back in the first year, 75th and 76th day, I tried to get across to the 8th graders at that time, or you, if you're a viewer who's been following me, 7th or 8th grader, that we are so Greek in the way, in, in our lives, in the way we think, and what we do, we are so Greek. And at these two uh, numbers, you would find me trying to get that across. Well, Burke is saying the same thing in his more academic way. He, he's going to talk about Thales. Um, and that would be worth Googling, uh, going on, say, Wikipedia and looking Thales up. And geometry, and show how geometry led to what... I don't think he uses the word triangulation, but he so clearly shows how triangulation works. And also about the idea of thinking in opposites. Uh, Thales is given credit for that. And about the time that he comes to uh, the phrase order... Greek seeking order to avoid chaos, right there is where I would ask you to stop. Uh, 20th minute, 49th second. That's not too much viewing, but until you get used to uh, Burke's ways, uh, I, I continue to say I think you should not go too fast with this. If, if classroom teachers are using this, my explanation will take maybe six, six eight minutes. That would take about eight minutes, and you still have half the period left. Um, all right, uh, well, enjoy, and tomorrow we're going to go back to class vocabulary. Uh, I hope to see you tomorrow.